walking is one of the healthiest ways to get around town, but only if you can avoid being flattened by a car. In today's episode of Getting There Safely, the team will tackle the do's and don'ts of pedestrian safety. On the Getting There Safely team, we have an ex-Navy SEAL, a former stunt woman. What happened? I tripped? What? Cut. Yeah, who are we kidding? That is awesome. Brendan. No lo creo. Chelsea. Deanna. They're just a group of friends who set out to test the rules of the road. on getting there safely. Okay, there are a lot of dangers before and during crossing the street. We've been told about crossing safely since we were kids. <laughs> Hi, I'm Willie Whistle with an important message about crossing streets. Until you get older, about 11 or 12 years old, it's always best to cross the street at the corner with an adult you trust. Man, Ganta Willy Whistle. <laughs> Everyone tells us that you have to look left, right, and then left again before crossing the street. But does it really matter having to look left that second time? Does it really matter if you look left a second time? I doubt it. Please, maybe? Well, let's find out. <laughs> the number one danger to pedestrians crossing the street is getting hit by a vehicle. A car can cover a lot of distance in less time than you think. To conduct this experiment, the team travels to the Fire and Rescue Training Academy in Montgomery County, Maryland. So, which part do you guys want to do? Because I kind of want to be the pedestrian. Oh, okay. I want to ride in the car. I'm, I'm really excited what? to Actually, be in the car. Actually, wait, I want to ride. Okay, fine. You can ride in the car. Yes. We knew that the cars would be going like super fast. So, who better to keep us safe than Montgomery County, Maryland's finest? I know you're supposed to look left, then right, then left, but do you think it's really that important to look left the second time? Oh, it absolutely is. It's the crucial to look back to the left. And you should always look left. That's the lane you're going to enter first before you step out in traffic, because that is the lane you're going to step into. So you want to make sure you're looking in that direction. And if you do see a vehicle coming, you definitely want to make eye contact with that person to make sure they see you first before you step off that curb. With the help of the fire and police department, the Getting There Safely team sets up for the experiment. Tigers and bears, oh my. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Sort of. So we're going to kind of put a camera right up here so that we can see everything that's kind of like going on, okay? The team will measure the distance cars can travel in the time it takes a pedestrian to look left, right, and back to the left. How much closer to the pedestrian can the car get? Deanna will have a front row seat for this experiment. She'll ride in the car. Chelsea will be the pedestrian at the crosswalk. When the car passes the starting line, Chelsea will look left, right, and left again. Brendan will measure the distance the car travels in the time it takes Chelsea to look right and back to the left. So, I'm gonna use these flags to check how far the car gets when Chelsea looks back to the left. Chelsea, Brendan, and Deanna are in their positions and getting ready for the first run. Okay guys, this one is 35 miles per hour. Here we go. Right, left. Whoa, that was pretty far. How far was it that time? How many feet? Whew. Yeah, I got 155 feet. 155? That's ridiculous. Even at 35 miles per hour, we still made up a lot of ground. That means the car got 155 feet closer in the time it took her to glance away and back again. That distance is equivalent to the length of over four school buses lined end to end. 35 was fast, but not fast enough. I wanted to see if we could push the limits. 
I wonder what it would be like if we went even faster. 50 miles per hour is crazy. <laughs> I'm just glad I wasn't in the crosswalk. All right, so how far do you think we're gonna go on the 50 miles per hour? Well, I think we're already over 200 feet, I would imagine. Really? Um, at 50 miles an hour, three seconds should be about 225 feet. Wow, that's really, really far. I don't even know, would we reach the intersection by that point? I think we're gonna be pretty close. Wow, that's crazy. The team is back to their positions and ready for their final run. I'm at the crosswalk and I'm ready to go. All right, guys, this is the last one, 50 miles an hour, and here we go. Left, right, left. Oh my gosh! That was crazy! Oh my gosh, you guys just sped by me before I even finished saying left. Oof. I got 220 feet. You would have been flattened. At 50 miles per hour, the car traveled 225 feet before Chelsea could look back to the left. If she stepped out, she could have been killed. Vaya, that was terrifying. Wow. Oh my gosh, we were completely past this intersection. I didn't even, I said left, right, and I didn't even get the chance to say the second left before you were totally by me. It's crazy, it definitely goes to show that you do need to look left the second time. Glad you didn't step out or else we would have flattened you. <laughs> I would be done. <laughs> you need to look left, right, and left again before crossing an intersection or crosswalk. Well, we proved that we need to look left, right, and left again in order to cross the street safely. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> and now that that's solved, I uh, think we're done here. Hang on, there's more to it than that. You need to caminar con los ojos. Walk with your eyes. Well, I don't know about you, but I walk with my feet. <laughs> yeah, but you need to watch out for what everyone else is doing. What do you mean, everybody else? Well, do you think it's easy to cross a busy intersection? Well, it's not rocket science. <sighs> we'll, we'll see. see. The police and fire department helped block off a busy intersection so Chelsea, Deanna, and a team of stunt drivers could put Brendan to the test. My role here is just to stop traffic to make sure that you're safe. For this experiment, Brendan will have to avoid four potential hazards. These hazards are common in any intersection. First, a truck will run a yellow light and come through the crosswalk. Then, a car will approach Brendan from behind, trying to make a right-hand turn. If he makes it past those two, he'll have to signal to a van trying to make a left-hand turn. Finally, if Brendan makes it through those obstacles in one piece, he'll have to avoid a car entering the crosswalk to make a right at the light. How do you think it's gonna go? Um, well, it's gonna go perfect. <laughs> it's gonna go perfect, honestly. You know, it, it feels like someone's watching me. <laughs> Does it? Brendan is fitted with two getting there safely action cams so that Chelsea can monitor his progress from headquarters. Good luck, guys. I'll be watching your every move, so stay on your toes. Wow, somebody's taking the job a little too seriously. <laughs> Let's see if Brendan can get across the crosswalk without getting flattened. Come on, Brendan, you can do this. No problem. I got this. I'm the man. I got this. I wouldn't be too confident if I were you. Not in that outfit. Okay, I'm looking left, right, and left again. No, Brendan. Look back to the left. Here I go. Watch out, watch out, watch out! Whoa. 
That guy didn't even look for me. How many times do I have to tell you? Left, right, left. D is right. You didn't look back to the left. Remember, you have to walk. Walk with my eyes. I get it. As the stunt drivers find their start positions, let's see if Brendan takes Chelsea's advice. He's looking left, right, and left. But... We got that guy's allowed to turn left. Oh, come on, so close! Should I just turn around? After a number of failed attempts and near misses, let's see if Brendan's got what it takes to avoid all four obstacles. Car making a right turn from behind you. <sighs> Left hand turn from across the intersection. Okay, no, there you go, okay. Almost there, almost there. Look to your right. Nice. I made it, I made it. You did it. a good job. That Thanks. was awesome. I knew you could do it. You told me I could and I could. Oh, that's awesome. Wasn't that harder than you expected? A lot harder. <laughs> I know Next it was. time I won't be so big headed. Mm -hmm. Not so easy, is it, tough guy? So Chelsea, can I finally take this thing off? Sure, come on back. I already have a new idea. You should always be aware of drivers, even if you are in a crosswalk. Drivers can turn their heads and look into their mirrors, but there are still blind spots. <laughs> These blind spots are places behind or beside the car where the mirrors, they don't exactly show smaller objects, like you. Hey guys, I brought in some uh, reinforcements. What do you think? I really like yours, Chelsea. You're very beautiful. Our team is going to find out just how invisible they can be to a driver backing out of a parking space. All right, Deanna, can you see us now? Hey, can you see us? Oh, yeah, you're in full view. Uh, okay. Uh, no, keep going. You're almost there. What about now? Uh, stop. All right, you're out of view. Go get a flag for us and we'll put it right here. This is fine, all right. To the right a little bit. It more. was really surprising how fast Brendan, Chels, and Cardboard Chels disappeared from view. Chelsea and Brendan place their cardboard stand-ins behind the car one at a time, and Deanna lets them know when she can't see them anymore. Those spots are marked with a red flag. There were so many blind spots, it would have been impossible to back out without hitting something. I'm glad I only have my learner's permit. Deanna gets a surprise visit from her driving instructor, who just so happens to be her dad. Here we go, you ready? Dad, what are you doing here? Oh, I just thought I'd come along. For what? Well, just kind of see how you're doing. On All what? Right. Just, you know, the driving thing. You're gonna let me drive? Absolutely. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, good deal. Got your seatbelt on? Yep. Go ahead and start the engine. All right. After some last words of wisdom from Dad, Deanna gets ready to test her driving skills. Will she back out safely, or will she crush our pedestrians? Right. Okay, you ready? Yep. All right, let's go. Here we go. Oh, my gosh, Dad, I think we hit something. Oh, what? <sighs> Ooh. Better luck next time. When you have to walk behind a car, you always have to make sure that the driver is behind the wheel. Look at the taillights and listen to see if the engine is running. So I guess you shouldn't try to cross a parking lot with headphones on either, huh? Exactly. Que no lleve audífonos. You always want to be able to hear cars coming and always walk with your eyes. Blind spots? I'd say that one is verified. A car's blind spots can make you invisible to a driver. So far, our hosts have verified that getting there safely 
means you have to walk with your eyes. That included looking left, right, and left again before you leave the curb, and watching out for drivers who may not be able to see you. But what do you do when you can't see the cars? Lots of things might block your view of traffic. Parked cars, a big bush, a tree branch, even kids on ladders. In those cases, we have to carefully move to a place where we can see and then look left, right, and left. So I guess we can't depend on cars stopping for us, huh? Well, let's go find out. With the help of the Washington, D.C. Metropolitan Police, the Getting There Safely crew shut down a neighborhood street for this experiment. Hello, Officer Torres. To ensure safety, a police officer will be behind the wheel. We'd just really like to thank you today for coming out and helping us with this experiment. My pleasure. We were really glad the police were willing to help us out. You would never want to try this experiment without a professional behind the wheel. The team will simulate a person stepping out from behind two parked cars to see whether a driver can react quickly enough to avoid crushing the pedestrian. Brendan will cue the car. Chelsea will signal to Deanna when the car is 25 feet away. And Deanna will raise a red flag to represent a pedestrian stepping out into the road. After some last minute preparations, the team is ready for their first run. All right guys, are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. And go! And go! Oh, that was pretty close. Our driver was traveling only 25 miles per hour down the street, but he couldn't react in time, and Deanna would have paid the price. Young lady, you could have gotten hit. Oh my gosh, I'm glad I didn't. Okay, maybe that's just one car. We wanted to see if another car could do any better. The Getting There Safely crew measured the reaction time of a person driving a smaller, more compact vehicle, but ended up with the same results. The driver had no time to react. I'm thinking case closed. You can never rely on a car to stop, and you always have to be aware of your surroundings. Well, we thought our work was done, so naturally, we started to unwind. Oh, don't take it. That was close. Okay. All right, guys, so... And then out of nowhere... No lo creo. Oh. My. Gosh. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do with this monster truck? <laughs> so, we all decided to do it one more time, but this time with the equalizer. As they set up for the final run, the crew starts to get a little nervous. All right, are you ready? <laughs> I guess so. I don't know if this thing can fit down the street, let alone stop. I hope these cars are insured. With the push of a button, the equalizer is ready to roll. Okay, I'm ready. And go! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> that is awesome. As the 10 ton behemoth barrels down the street, Deanna doesn't stand a chance. Deanna was scared. <laughs> he said I was scared? I was not scared. Oh yeah? Let's see that in instant replay. Well, maybe a little scared. <laughs> would you have been able to stop in time had I walked out? There, there was no possible way I would have stopped. I probably would have crashed and 
You could have got killed. Wow, that would not be good. It's clear that the best place to cross the street is at an intersection or crosswalk. If you step out between two parked cars, the driver might not have time to stop. Fortunately, I didn't have to learn that the hard way. You can never rely on a driver to see you and stop in time. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Getting There Safely. Until next time, remember to stay safe and always walk with your eyes. So what should we cover next? Well, when do we get to do jetpacks? So I think jetpacks would be pretty <laughs> cool. Or we could test some stuff at the beach. Oh, I like that. Or we could do jetpacks at, at the, the beach. beach.